Good morning, and thank you for joining me at Online Storytime with the Pflugerville Public Library. My name is Miss Amanda, and I'm one of the Youth Services Librarians at the Pflugerville Library. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about an enormous turnip. We're going to sing some songs about gardening, and I'm going to show you a couple of books that I think you should check out from the Pflugerville Library. Let's get started by singing The More We Get Together. I'm going to play along on my ukulele. And we'll sing it two times, so even if you don't know the words, you can sing it with me the second time. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, together. singing along with me. Let's get ready for our story. We're going to read about an enormous turnip and the farmer that tried to pull that turnip out of the ground. Before we enjoy our story about the enormous turnip, let's sing a song together about some seeds and we'll see if we can make them grow into a flower. Here we go. To get started, we'll need some ground to plant the seeds in. So this is your ground and some seeds. Can you get them ready? Here we go. The seeds from the pack go in the ground, in the ground, in the ground. The seeds from the pack go in the ground. Will our flowers bloom? The rain from the sky comes fluttering down, fluttering down, fluttering down. The rain from the sky comes fluttering down. Will our flowers bloom? The sun above is bright and hot, bright and hot, bright and hot. The sun above is bright and hot. Will our flowers bloom? Our little seeds are sprouting up, sprouting up, sprouting up. Our little seeds are sprouting up. Look, our flower bloomed. Good job! We did it! We grew our flower. Okay, I think it is time for our story. So let's get ready to hear about that enormous turnip and find out if the farmer was able to pull it from the ground. Once upon a time, an old man planted a turnip. It was just an ordinary dusty old turnip at first, but then the turnip grew. It grew and grew and grew until it was an enormous turnip. The old man started to pull the turnip out of the ground. He pulled and pulled, but he couldn't pull that enormous turnip out of the ground. So he called over the old woman. The old woman took hold of the old man, and the old man took hold of the turnip. And together they pulled and pulled, but they couldn't pull that old turnip out of the ground. So the old woman called over the granddaughter. The granddaughter took hold of the old woman. The old woman took hold of the old man, and the old man took hold of the turnip. And together they pulled and pulled and pulled, but they couldn't pull that old turnip out of the ground. So the little girl called over the little dog. The little dog took hold of the granddaughter. The granddaughter took hold of the old woman. And the old woman took hold of the old man. The old man took hold of the enormous turnip and together they pulled and pulled and pulled. But they couldn't pull that enormous turnip out of the ground. So the little dog called the little cat. The little cat took hold of the dog. The dog took hold of the granddaughter. The granddaughter took hold of the old woman. The old woman took hold of the old man. And together they pulled and pulled and pulled. But they couldn't pull that enormous turnip out of the ground. So 
the little cat called over the smallest one of all, the tiny mouse. And together, the tiny mouse, the cat, the dog, the little girl, the old woman, and the old man took hold of that enormous turnip and they pulled and pulled and pulled and finally out came the enormous turnip. The end. I hope that you enjoyed hearing the story of the enormous turnip. That story is a Russian folk tale that's been told for many, many years. If you want to be able to put on your own puppet show at home, you can download the figures that we use today from the Austin Public Library. I'm going to link um, their website down below in the description so that you can download and print your own puppet pictures. Now we're going to sing a song about planting seeds. So to get started, we need to dig in the soil. So let's get our shovel ready and you're gonna scoop and throw away the dirt. There we go, ready, dig and scoop it away. Good job, now we're ready. Dig, dig, dig the earth, then you plant a seed. A gentle rain and bright sunshine will help your flower grow. Good job. Let's see if we can imagine what kind of flower we have. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna imagine that my fingers are a flower poking out of the ground. Now, I think my flower has soft pink petals. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of flower I have. What kind of flower do you have? That sounds beautiful. Let's sing the song again. Here we go. Dig. Dig, dig the earth, then we plant a seed. A gentle rain and bright sunshine will help our flower grow. Good, thank you for singing that one with me. Let's get started with our next song. Let's talk about some of the things we need to make plants grow. Well, most plants need to grow down in the soil, so they need good soil with lots of nutrients. And they need bright sunshine, yeah. And they need rain. So let's sing a song about rain. So let's make raining fingers. Can you guys go like this? The rain falling down, good. The rain is falling down, the rain is falling down. Pitter patter, pitter patter, the rain is falling down. Good, now let's do that together. When we do our pitter patters, you can pitter patter on your little knees to make the pitter patter sound. Let's try it together, ready? Here we go. Did that work? Good, let's sing all together. The rain is falling down, the rain is falling down. Pitter patter, pitter patter, the rain is falling down. Good job. Well, if you have been enjoying our songs today about gardening and flowers, I think that you will really enjoy these two books available to check out from the library. The first is called Dig In. This is by Cindy Jensen Elliott and Mary Peterson. Our other book is called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. And something cool is that both of these books don't just talk about the flowers and the plants that grow in the ground. They talk about all the little creepy crawlies that live in the ground like roly polies and earthworms. So if you have some kiddos that just love digging in the dirt for earthworms, these are the books for them. <laughs>